The first thing I want to do is put some AR targets into my model, and then I'm going to get them printed out and put them in the exact same place in reality. And this will allow my phone to know exactly where it's located in our model space. So I'm going to go over to edit mode. And I want to add a reference point. So I'm going to come into my hierarchy and click create reference point. Reference points have a special property, which is image. And image will allow us to pick one of the provided AR targets and put that in the model. So I'm going to click on that, and I get my dialog box that says choose my image. And for this one, I'm just going to choose reference point one. And there are 10 reference points available. You can use each one once anywhere in your space, and you can use multiple reference points. And that will increase accuracy uh, as your phone scans across and recognizes more of those points. You also have the ability to pick what size paper it's going to be on when you print it. By default, I'm just going to use letter. I'm going to hit OK. And as you can see, I get the image that I selected right on my deck. Now, one of the things that's really important is making sure that this is in the exact same place that I'm going to place my reference point. I'm going to place my AR target uh, so it's aligned with one corner of my origin, which is my plaster line and my center line. So I'm just going to drag that up there, and I'm going to move it over this way, and that lets me determine where that is. So not only is location really important, but the orientation of this image is really important. And you can see that right now, the bottom of this target is facing downstage, when in reality, I'm going to place that target upstage. So this is where your quick rotation tools come into effect. I want to rotate this around my z-axis, which is blue. So I'm going to come over to my blue and click the 90 rotate twice. And now I've got my AR target exactly where I'm going to place it in reality. Again, you can add multiple reference points that are AR targets. Uh, something like this one could be portable. I could put it out when I need it and remove it from the space when it's performance time. But I might also want to mount one behind scenery or on the upstage wall of my proscenium because I can scan in at those locations too. So I've hidden one of these AR targets on the upstage side of my scenic box. And so I'm going to orient my camera so I can see that. So I'm going to create a another reference point. And don't forget that you can change labels on these. So I'm going to change this to be AR target upstage. And again, I want to assign it an AR target image. So for this one, I'm going to choose reference point number seven, because that's what I have taped upstage. I'm going to keep it letter and hit OK. And now I'm going to move it around, and I want to rotate it along the x-axis. So I'll click it to flip it up, and I'm going to want to rotate it a little bit. And to get these things aligned with your scenery might take just a little bit of effort. But the thing to remember is that as you're placing this, you want to make sure that it's positioned in reality in the exact same location away from the origin as it is in your model. That's really important because if that isn't aligned between model and reality, your fixtures won't line up. So with that in the proper location, I'm going to go ahead and hit Done Editing and apply my changes. So I need to get these images out of the console through a printer so I can set them up in reality. So I'm going to put a thumb drive into my console so that I can get these PDFs off. And we can go into our export menu. So in displays, I'm going to go to File and Export. And you'll see down here we have our augmented reference point images. And I want to select my destination, which is my thumb drive. And when I hit Select, I get the same dialog box that I had when I was placing these items in my model. So I can select which reference point I want to print off. So I'm going to say 7 for upstage. I can select whatever paper size I'm going to be printing on, and that's going to export that to the thumb drive as a PDF. This dialog box stays open, so if I want to do another reference point, I can go ahead and click on that, select my paper, 
hit export PDF, and you'll see that it will have put it on my F drive. And then when I'm done, I can hit close. The next thing I'll do is I will take my PDFs to a printer, print them out, and start laying them out on my stage.